Uh, members of IPEM uh, and some other people, but mostly members of IPEM. Uh, it's a classical mix of classical uh, music, recitals, um, sayings, um, and actually it's just demonstrating how much talent we have. Uh, we're an un unknown of army of uh, engineers, scientists, uh, physicists working in healthcare that people don't know about. So it's nice to get out of the office occasionally and show people what, what we can do. So it's to uh, raise awareness of the Institute, it's to uh, raise awareness of NHS celebrate the 70th anniversary, uh, but also to raise money for the uh, Little uh, Linac project. The uh, initial project for the, the Little Linac came uh, from basically started in Leeds uh, about seven years ago. One of my engineers built a engineered little inac. Uh, it cost a few thousand pounds, but everybody wanted one. But we couldn't supply them because they were too expensive. The penny dropped. Why don't we turn it on its head? Instead of one expensive model, let's have lots of cheap models using the model bricks. So that's when the project was like, uh, thought of, the concept came about, and IPM, the Institute of Physical Engineering and Medicine, took it on board, and it took us three years, but we got there. We've got about 3,000 coming because there's around 2,500 children every year get a uh, child with cancer, which is a sad figure, but a true figure. So, you know, we need a good number of kits. So, we're hoping that uh, we, we will donate those kits uh, to children through the whole UK. Uh, and what we're hoping is that we'll have to sell some of the kits, and then through those sales, we will then be able to donate more kits to kids. So, it makes this sustainable and resilient. So the main aim is so that they, the kit actually turns into all the yeah, mach machines that the kit, may, the kit may come across during their treatment. So that's an MR scanner, a CT scanner, scanner a gamma camera and a linear accelerator, the linear, which is where the cancer treatment is given. So the, um, the, the aim is that by play they'll, they'll reduce their anxiety about using these machines, but actually also it enables them to talk to their parents, to their, uh, the people uh, police specialists, uh, siblings, around what they're going through. Uh, but also, later on, when they finish their treatment, because it's not bricks, they can turn it into anything. So the plan is, what can you turn it into next? So I built a rocket out of mine when I finished it, and um, so I'm hoping they'll build rabbits, uh, cars, you know, whatever. So that's part of it, it's moving on from the cancer journey and uh, putting it behind.